Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sofia Palace in the presence of His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Babco Energies, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of a number of Babco Energies Board of Directors members. His Majesty the King healed the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in leading the process of transforming the energy sector in Bahrain. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to all Babco Energy's members and affiliated companies for their efforts that contribute to making pioneering achievements aimed at promoting the nation at the regional and international levels in a way that supports the comprehensive development process. His Majesty pointed out the need for transformation plans in the energy sector to be in line with the global scene by encouraging innovation and adopting the best international practices in a way that contributes to improving the efficiency of operations and raising the level of productivity to ensure operational excellence and reaching zero neutrality. His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented before His Majesty the King a detailed presentation on the company's operational strategy and the launch of the Energy Transformation Project represented by the transformation of Babco Energies from a traditional holding company focused on oil and gas into an innovative, progressive and ambitious energy company that supports the security of the energy future and focuses on renewable energy under the slogan Energy for Generations to Come, in line with the vision of His Majesty the King and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness reviewed the achievements and successes it made in the year 2022 until the first half of the year 2023, in addition to the progress that Babco Modernization Project and the gas exploration and production activities carried out by Tatuir Petroleum. His Highness Sheikh Nas renewed Babco Energy's commitment to investing in developing the pioneering experience of its employees and affiliates and building on its strategic global partnership to align its business with the goal of strengthening Bahrain's role in the global energy scene to achieve Bahrain's economic vision 2030. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the members of the Bahrain Journalists Association, headed by Isa Al Shaiji, at Safriya Palace, on the occasion of the reformation of the new board of directors of the association after the last election. His Majesty praised the national and leading role of the association and hailed their achievements in serving society and contributions to the progress and development of the country, as well as seeking to enhance national spirits and assume issues that serve the country and its people in spreading cultural awareness and knowledge. His Majesty highlighted the credibility, objectivity and professionalism in conveying events truthfully and defending the nation's interests, security and stability and documenting its gains and supporting its developments. His Majesty congratulated the Chairman and members of the Board of Directors and wished them success in achieving the goals of the Association and elevating the journalistic work, serving its members, qualifying cadres and supporting national efforts in all fields. His Majesty affirmed his continuous support to the efforts of the media figures in assuming their role in delivering the noble message for the progress of the country. His Majesty praised the authentic Bahraini journalism, its history, which reflects the pioneering role of the Kingdom in the education, culture and civilization, He affirmed his keenness to achieve freedom of opinion of speech, which is a main factor in the prosperity of the journalism in Bahrain. His Majesty requested the Chairman to convey his greetings to all media figures and appreciation for their efforts in serving the country and its people. For his part, the Chairman of the Bahrain Journalists Association expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for receiving the President and the members of the Association which reflects the important status of Bahraini journalists and media personnel for His Majesty the King and his leading democratic reform project, which considered national journalism a cornerstone and a major driver of the democratic development process during His Majesty's prosperous era. al Shaji expressed honour to thank His Majesty the King for his support to journalism and media, for his directive to provide all guarantees and freedom of opinion and expression and creating the atmosphere of opinion holders and writers to perform their role in spreading awareness and knowledge. 
He asserted that Bahraini journalists and media personnel will always remain a main partner in the development march led by His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa ratified Initiate Law 11 of 2023. The law ratified the agreement between Bahrain and Turkmenistan regarding air services following its approval by the Shura Council and the Council of Representatives. The agreement attached to this law was signed in Manama on February 22, 2023. The Minister of Labour, Jamil Humaydan, met with the Director General of the Executive Bureau of the GCC Labour and Social Affairs Councils, Dr Amr al Hajri. They reviewed the topics on the agenda of the ninth meeting of the Committee of GCC Labour Ministers, which will be held in the Kingdom of Bahrain later this year. They also discussed ways to develop joint GCC programmes in the work and human resources fields. Humaydan stressed the importance of enhancing joint GCC action praising the Executive Bureau's role in implementing programmes that support GCC efforts. Dr al Hajri praised the support from Bahrain for the Executive Bureau and noted that it reflects the Kingdom's keenness on pushing joint GCC action forward. Based on the successive national efforts pursued by the Kingdom of Bahrain in the field of developing and strengthening the various labor sectors, the Minister of Labor meeting with the Director General of the Executive Bureau of the GCC Labor and Social Affairs Councils comes to confirm that great attention Bahrain attaches to the development of this field and the creation of job opportunities for Bahraini citizens. This meeting is an opportunity to raise the levels of technical and administrative work in the fields of qualification and training, which works to develop the competencies of future workers by providing them with the practical skills and scientific expertise required to be fully prepared to occupy specialized job opportunities during the coming years in line with the requirements of modernization and development. The rapid pace that the Kingdom of Bahrain and the region in general is witnessing requires the strengthening of Gulf cooperation and coordination on a permanent and continuous basis. The meeting focused on the importance of exchanging successful experiences in the Gulf labor markets, especially in the field of employment and qualifying citizens, and the creation of promising opportunities in various productive sectors, which reflected mutual keenness to embody the visions and aspirations of the ministers for the benefit of the various productive sectors in the countries of the GCC. The Board of Trustees Chairman of the King Hamad Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence, Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received the National Evangelical Church Pastor and Head of Al Bayarik Al Baida Society, Reverend Hani Aziz. Sheikh Khalifa affirmed the Kingdom's pride in its ancient history as a hub for religions, sects, and human cultures, and praised the vision of His Majesty the King and the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in laying the foundations for the path of tolerance peaceful coexistence and supporting for religious freedoms in society. The chairman stressed that Bahrain has become a model for peaceful coexistence among the world's countries. Reverend Hani Aziz appraised Bahrain's unique model of coexistence and the respect for the beliefs of the other and the care and attention that all communities and society receive. He extended his appreciation to the role of the King Hamad Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence in achieving the royal visions and aspirations in spreading tolerance and coexistence globally. Bahrain's first edition of the Almond Festival opened today at the Farmer's Market in Bidea Botanical Garden. Within less than two hours of the opening of the festival, more than 90% of the quantities of almonds offered were sold. The Under Secretary for Agricultural Affairs and Marine Resources, Dr Khaled Ahmed Hassan, unveiled plans to hold the festival yearly, following the successful periodic annual organisation of the Bahraini Farmers Souk. The National Initiative for Agricultural Development Secretary General, Sheikh Maram bint Isa Al Khalifa, stressed the importance of holding such festivals, which provide an opportunity to exchange expertise and experiences that contribute to boosting productivity, in addition to showcasing a locally produced fruit. At the 29th General Meeting of the Egmont Group held in Abu Dhabi, the CEO of the National Centre for Financial Intelligence at the Interior Ministry, 
and Vice President of the National Policy Committee for Combating Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing, Sheikh Mabent Mohammed Al Khalifa, has been selected as the new Vice Chair of Egmont Group of Financial Intelligence Units and for the second time in a row as Regional Representative for the Middle East and North Africa. In the meeting discussed ways to enhance cooperation and coordination among members to combat money laundering and terrorist financing crimes. On the occasion, Sheikh May hailed the support of the Minister of Interior and President of the National Policy Committee for Combating Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, which contributed to increasing national efforts and the efficacy for Bahrain to hold a regional and international status in this field. She noted Egmont's role in enhancing communication and interaction between financial intelligence units at the global level. She affirmed that Bahrain's obtaining the position asserts its legislative and legal structure that enhances its status and reputation in terms of combating money laundering and terrorist financing. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Al Balad Media Corporation launched Al Balad Newspapers List of the 50 most powerful Bahraini companies for the year 2023 in its second edition. More in this report. 200 Bahraini companies from various sectors competed to reach the country's list on the 50 most powerful Bahraini companies to showcase the strengths of Bahraini companies and their important and vital roles in contributing to the national economy. This project, which is launched in its second year in a row, seeks to highlight its various work sectors and creative ideas in the field of commerce, which contributes to strengthening competition and promoting the growth of the economic sector. This initiative, which comes to celebrate national companies in light of the challenges and rapid changes the global economy is witnessing at the regional and international levels and based on specific criteria, aims to highlight the role of leading national institutions in supporting economic growth and establishing steps for its prosperity in a sustainable manner. The Information E-Government Authority is hosting the second workshop on e-government priorities in GCC countries in the presence and participation of the concerned authorities in the Department of De Digital De Governments and Government Information and Communication Technology. The workshop comes within the framework of cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and the GCC General Secretariat and its implementation of the recommendations of the first workshop. During the workshop, Bahrain's experience in cooperation with the private sector was reviewed. The most prominent national applications and platforms were discussed and the digital transformation in the GCC countries was measured. The issue of unified government contact centres, joint government systems and data exchange mechanisms between the GCC countries was also discussed, in addition to central payment services and holding panel discussions to review the experiences of member states in the field of digital transformation in government services. A delegation from the Royal Humanitarian Foundation presented a mentoring programme in cooperation with the Medical Association and Syrian Ministry of Social Affairs and Labour as part of the Foundation's efforts to continue providing moral and psychological support to those affected by the earthquake that struck Syria. On the occasion, the Syrian Minister of Social Affairs and Labour, Louis Amanajid, expressed the thanks and appreciation of the Syrian leadership and the people to His Majesty the King for his humanitarian initiatives and stances with the Syrian people during the humanitarian crisis they are going through as a result of the earthquake, praising the efforts of the Bahraini delegation and their readiness to cooperate to intensify the programme in the coming period in other areas affected by the earthquake. A sustained and developed humanitarian action adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain through its launch of qualitative and pioneering development projects through which it seeks to provide assistance for all and to improve the reality of societies, harness all available resources and capabilities to alleviate the suffering in brotherly and friendly countries. The Kingdom of Bahrain operates within a strategic plan with clear features that enabled it to emerge on the map of humanitarian action to occupy a high position of appreciation and respect by the international community community and global organizations. The continuous cooperation and partnership between government, private and civil organizations is one of the most important reasons for the effectiveness of the Bahraini humanitarian work that starts from Manama to reach the whole world to contribute effectively to improving the quality of life. 
Bahrain's ambassador to Belgium, Abdullah al Dossari, met the chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the European Parliament, David McAllister, at the EU Parliament headquarters in Brussels, Belgium. The ambassador commended the growing diplomatic and parliamentary ties between Bahrain and the EU, stressing the importance of such meetings to further bolster cooperation. He noted McAllister's visit to Bahrain last year, highlighting the Kingdom's success in hosting the 146th session of the Interparliamentary Union. McAllister also commended his visit to Bahrain, noting his meeting with the representative council speaker, lawmakers and officials. Regional and international developments were also discussed. The Arab Parliament Speaker Adil al Asumi met with the Speaker of the Legislative Chamber of Uzbekistan, Nuruddinijan Ismailov. During the meeting, Ismailov appraised the royal vision of His Majesty the King and the values of tolerance and peaceful coexistence between different religions and cultures, appreciating the efforts made by His Majesty towards this vital issue. He also praised Bahrain's hosting and organisation of the Forum for Dialogue East and West for Human Coexistence with the participation of the Grand Imam of Al-Azha Al-Sharif and His Holiness the Pope. He added that the experience of Bahrain in this field represents an element of strength and added value to the position of the Islamic world towards the issue of dialogue and coexistence between religions.